Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Devil May Cry 4 playthrough. We just defeated Dante, or we should I should rather say he let us win and buggered off. And something's happening outside now, so we need to go and see what's happening. Oh god, the puppets again? No, these are scarecrows. Completely different from the, the marionettes in Devil May Cry 1. One of my, I actually think Devil May Cry 4 has the best enemy designs in the series. Is that right? Yeah. Cause, whoa, there's quite a lot of really good designs in this. Wait a minute, if Mundus is dead, who are these foot soldiers then? They're just demons from the underworld. I thought when you defeat Mundus, every demon would die. No. It doesn't quite work like that. And yes, you can rev the sword up during gameplay. Where? How does the Sword Red Queen have an engine? Where's the fuel supply? Where's the petrol, <laughs> diesel? It's a video game! <laughs> You're not even breaking a sweat there. Because the Red Queen does quite a bit of damage. Oh, Spider-Man won all over again. <laughs> Come on, move, kid! Yeah, exactly that. Oh. He's putting Kiri in danger now. Yeah, and you don't fuck with Johnny on Bosch's love interest. So what? If, no matter what anime Johnny does, is that if he if they if his character has a female interest, he always takes him, puts them first Probably, over him. Uh, Bleach and Eureka Seven. I love this cutscene. Black. Like Ooh. You're gonna love what Nero does. Ooh. In Red Queen actually. Now the way the engine works during the combat is that you mu you press L two. While you're swept after, just after the attack has finished, and you'll rev up by one level. There's a skill that you can achieve, but it is very, very expensive. Where if you press L2 at the frame perfect moment after an attack, you will rev up to the max level. There are three levels to the engine. You can slowly rev it up by pressing L2 multiple times during the gameplay, but it leaves you open in order to rev it up. Okay, him riding down that enemy with like a car, that's badass. I told you man, this game's amazing, cutscene wise. Pack a punch! Oh my god! So as of now, you've got three ar weapons in your arsenal. The Blue Rose, Red Queen, and, and the, the Devil, Bringer, Devil Bringer. Which is a sign top button. Mission so here two. we are. The mission select screens. No, not mission select. The mission menus. Again, we have the power up menu. Here's where you buy your skills. Hey, at least they give you a, t a little screen on how it's supposed to do. Stanger, buy the the streak is Nero Stanger. Buy it as soon as you can, and buy the speed while you're at it, or it'll take forever to get around. Because <laughs> one of the things I hate about the original Don't We Cry for it's it takes slow. forever. It, it's really slow. They f they're bringing that back for Don't We Cry Five as well. Thank God. <laughs> Blue orbs are all, are still available in the shop, but as you can see to the right, you can only buy six of them before uh. you're not allowed to buy anymore. Because you need to find again, you need to complete all the secret missions and find all the blue orb fragments to maximize your health. But as you say, you're not gonna do that because no, some of them are a real pain in the ass. Yeah. This is just an A to B playthrough, folks. Lock on. Press R1 to lock onto a target. Okay. Yep. We won't. But we won't get it yet, but you can get a charged shot for the revolver, is, which is amazing. I love Nero's taunts, by the way. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, because I don't have a lot of moves yet, I'm really limited in what I can do. But once you unlock them, you become more versatile. Dude, it's crazy how much you can do. You'll be getting to smoke and sex style in like, no time flat. <laughs> Now let me guess, the higher you rank, the more red orbs you get when yeah. you defeat the last enemy. Yeah, every enemy like drops more orbs when your style rank is really high. And there's Investigate, a, you're going to full on detective mode now? <laughs> Nero, detective. And when your style rank is really high, you have a chance of obtaining, you have a higher chance of getting green orbs from enemies which are your own means of restoring health besides using items. Okay. Gold orb, instant. Instant resurrection on the so spot. So you're continuous, so to speak, yeah. yeah. yeah I but unlike Devil May Cry 1, it's not permanent game over if you run out of them. So even though, like this game you say it's 10 years old, do you think it's aged well? Very well. Gold orb. Magical golden stone. <laughs> I got <laughs> Those faces are in horrible pain and you're laughing at them. Again. Because he did this in the Devil May Cry 1 playthrough, folks. Yes, as you can tell from some of my commentary this time, I'm actually slowly getting interested in this series. 
buy the bundles on PSN HD collection. I said, more. hey, I, st- I said emphasis on slowly. Because <laughs> this is actually our first playthrough just after Comic Con, by the way, which was a fantastic time. Right, what we got here? Oh, more scarecrows. This is just a, this is just a cutscene for that series. Wait, the shadow bugs from Smash Brothers possessed no. them? <laughs> Sealed, sealed doors. doors. Ah, These are returning, but yeah. they're nowhere near as obnoxious. Just kill all the enemies and then they'll disappear. Yeah. Okay. Basic. Simple. Yeah. Come on, do the taunt. Is this also, would you say this... Well, I'm guessing because the combat is a lot more versatile, would you say this is a good start for, like, newbies to the series? Yeah. Although the first boss can be kind of a wall. <laughs> we'll get to him at the end of this mission. So if you're not confident in your ability to play these types of games, play on me. Play on easy. Because Devil May Cry 3, while considered the best of the series, is the hardest. Hands down the hardest. That oh one of the ones that uh, oh Agni and Ridger gave me so much trouble when I recorded. But I have that ready to go for this channel as well. But we're doing this first before we get to free. Yeah, and story-wise, Virgil is not in this game. This takes place after Dante. Yeah, because we always saw in Devil May Cry 1 is that he tried yeah. to take on. Mundi- is it Mundus? He was enslaved by M- Mundus. Aye, and then, then he got converted into Neo Angelo. Yeah, Nero, Neo Neo Angelo. Neo we'll Angelo, see what happened yeah. to him at, at, in a bonus cutscene at the end of Don't We Cry Free. Ah. But for now, let's just say Dante and Virgil have had their climactic battle and have went their separate ways. Do you think Virgil has a chance of coming back? Kind of like how Capcom loves to reuse Wesker from time to time. Yeah. F. If the fan theories and what I think is true about Don't We Cry 5, which I won't spoil here. Like, I'll I'll talk about it in the credits. Ah, you said that you you you're hype trained to Devil May Cry Five. That's not really in terms of the channel progression because again, yeah, who knows when will be when we get to do three, two, and the reboot before we do five. All right. But you'll probably finish recording. I do want to get four and three done before five next year though, because those are the two. We've done one already, but three and four are essential to the story. So, so we want to at least get those two done. Because Zelda Cry 2 sucks. So what did he just pick up? A power-up? A key item. And it's fused with these his arm. These give you new abilities. Mandatory abilities to progress through the game. Evil legacy. Now we can actually grab objects from afar. A grapple hook, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. You can grab enemies. I don't know if you get it here as well, but you can grab enemies with it as well. Ah, so like uh, pull the enemies towards yeah. you. But uh, the range on it is pathetic at first, if you're not locking onto one of those. I think is I that a uh, vital holy, star? Is that like restores your health? Yeah. And you're like, how do I get in there? You have to be positioned oh, perfect. Oh, you have to pull it? Okay. Yeah. Some items are actually like fruit bars, so you have to grab them with the Devil Bringer. Wrong side. <laughs> There's a red orb you can't really reach easily without the devil. Oh, I see now that they've added another new feature there down there at the bottom right, the map. Yeah. You can also go into your options menu and access it manually at any time, but I don't need to. Because I've played this game millions of times. And as you can see, you can grab the red orbs with it as well. This so is the exceed feature. You have to press L2 multiple times, but as you can see, revving it up is kind of slow. Does it, oh, do, so it doesn't drain when you ma- reach it up to max? Here's the... As you can, you see those three red squares above the meter. That's that represents your levels. I have also mean you rev them up, but it doesn't do that thing where it slowly drains when you're not revving them up. No. Even as long as you've revved up two bars, they will stay there. They go down every time you use one. And Nero's start up with the attacks are much faster and they deal more damage. What's this deal? I thought you said you were not going to do any. I'm only showing like this, maybe one or two of them off. You lied to me. As you can see, his start up there is much faster with the XC. I so don't know if you can use it right from the off bat, but if you press L2 uh, at the right time, you can store one level of it. Defeat the so this mission is defeat enemies in less than within the time limit. Within the time limit. Fuck up, you get booted out. Too bad, so sad. Goodbye. Do you get to retry, or if you yeah, fuck you have up? to go back. In. That's actually another thing they're improving for Dumbly Cry Five. You can retry the secret missions if you fuck them up like immediately. Ah. This game lets you do that as well, but you have to go back into the entrance for the secret room though to do it. 30 seconds, hurry up. Hurry up. You gotta go fast. I love that, Todd. <laughs> what, did he, is he, is he, did, he, did he just kiss the blue rose? No. 
<laughs> Look at the taunts, they're amazing. And I'll have 10 seconds. How many taunts are there? Quite a lot. It, they're all dependent on how high your style rank is as well. My Ooh. favorite's the air guitar. And it, like Nero just like dances around playing air guitar. It's amazing. I do show that off later as well. Oh, can you imagine the, if the timer still went on before you got to pick up that fragment and yeah, two seconds left on the clock? <laughs> there we are. Just, that's the easiest secret mission in the game. But again, I'm not going for all of them in this playthrough, so too bad. Are you not going to jump down and take care of those bad guys that are destroying uh, your town? Uh, no, that's not part of where I can go. It's a video game. We have to adhere to the level design. Yeah, Wait. you can use the exceed. As you can see, I'm revving it up. I think it was only at this point I realized, oh wait, I can still do that right at the start of the game. As you can see, like the attacks have a lot more flash to them and they do more damage. Hmm. And later on, when we'll be able, to, uh, when we have enough proud souls, you can buy the ability to extend like the like the the his streak, the stinger. Where he like he charges forward like Dante, but he sweeps with the sword instead. When you if you buy the right skills for it, you have to buy essentially exceed level two versions. Like we have no bars right now, but when we get two of them on the sword, the engines will be able to use level two attacks. So if I use the streak, it would cause it would hit twice and it would go much farther. Okay. And when I buy the foot level 3 of it, it will have 3 times and it will do insane amounts of damage. But again, you need all 3 of the bars of the engine levels filled. Oh, I, that, why did I that not I think that happen? actually does rev it, give you a level of exceed in 5. No, I thought what that would have done is that you, as the enemy was lying there, you stab it and then you rev it and then it yeah. goes and fire and then blows up. I think, the ta I think that taunt actually does give you a level of Exceed. Yeah, I'll just call it that, because that's what it is. Exceed. Well, there it exceed. is, actually. <laughs> right on time. Ask and you shall Press receive. Press to activate the Red Queen's fuel injection system. Uh, where is the fuel supply? It's a video game. Do you tell me that every time the, the, the sword has run out of fuel, Nero has to go to this town's local petrol station to rev it up? <laughs> Does anyone have the fuel? Come on, I need this. Are you, hung are you hungry business? or something? You're destroying a lot of watermelons and berries. <laughs> Uh, collateral damage. They can handle it. You do realize that this isn't magic, Nero. Vegetables don't grow back unless you. What do you, you call my arm? <laughs> Point taken. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's just so awesome to smash the enemies into the ground. You can use it against bosses. Is too. this entire town filled with devils? Considering that yeah. you have to destroy chairs and furniture to get red orbs. Just use fast combos on this thing. This gives you the. This gives you a good amount of red orbs as long as you're still attacking it. It will break after a certain amount of time though. What's the maximum of red orbs you can carry? Uh, 999,999. <laughs> it's one of those that goes all the way to the top. And when you buy items in the shop, they get more expensive. Still having trouble with the jump, I no, see. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to see if there was a part at the back there. There's a blue old fragment? Yeah. I'm not going for all of them, but I'm going for the ones that I know are there. By the way, wall jump is back as well, and it will be your only means of double jumping for a while. And how's the wall jump here compared to the first one? Handles a bit better, but the jumps are still... Yeah, you don't get a lot of distance again. But there's no fucking bridge that you need to ah, jump across <laughs> this time. Port Syria? If Nobody I... cares. <laughs> Go up here for a red orb. Red orb, aye. That's another thing, the red orbs that are scattered throughout the stage and Please hidden in the Please tell me if you fall in the water, it's an instant game no, over. No, you don't, you don't, you can't fall in. The, you know the objects we've been smashing to get red orbs? Then, and uh, the red orbs we're finding throughout the area, they now count towards your total mission ranking. If you don't find enough of those, you'll fuck yourself out of the ice rank, which is can stupid, I just, by Can the I way. just say again, I'm very grateful that they've put a speed increase in your movement. Yeah, it was so much slower in the original game. I did everything in the original game, all achievements on the 360, which included S-ranking everything on all difficulties, including Dante Must Die. During battle, your stylish rank, which grants your fine skills, is displayed. Your styles... Okay. But simply don't use the same fucking move over and over again. Ah. Oh. So it's kind of like Arkham Origins in the way, in the multiplayer, where to get more XP you have to vary your attacks. Yeah. Oh, the multiplayer that doesn't work anymore because the servers are shut down. Ah! So these, they, so these, what do you call these again? These scarecrows. Are, these scarecrows. These are the these food guys soldiers. Are if you get hit by these guys, you're doing something wrong. They're the goombas of this game. Yeah. 
They're nowhere near as dangerous as the marionettes, though. They have a lot of start up to their attacks. Blue seals. Oh, that's back from the first one. You just have to take care of it. Wait whatever a puzzle, whatever small quote unquote puzzle. Because hmm. <laughs> these are very streamlined. Recognize that graphic there? That when there's those little daggers spinning. Uh, Virgil. What are you thinking of Virgil? Aye, yeah. uh, he's a power where he can summon like bluish Shot daggers, and then you can. Aye, the... uh, you can even make them surround him. The summon swords. Aye, uh, the summon swords. I think that's what called where they can either protect around him, or you can use them as projectiles. And again, I'm thinking of Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom three, because that's where we will see something like that in this game at some point, though. But I won't say anything about that. Because again, Marvel vs. Capcom was my first exposure to characters like Dante, Trish, and Virgil. Yeah. Because back then I had no. Yeah, okay. can't get across the bridge, it seems. Because that's just not working. And so, now... What? <laughs> now it's working? Just what? <laughs> <laughs> I love this game's sense of humour. And of course, the cat comes in once again while we're recording. Yeah, she knows how to interrupt <laughs> the commentaries. And that's the grumpy arse one too, Ruby. Oh, can you imagine if there was a little mini glitch, a random mini glitch, where every, when you fall off a jump distance that isn't fall distance, your character goes into a T-pose. Yeah. This game's, you know that problem we had in the first game, where if you're running at an angle and the camera changes, you'll go the wrong way? That still happens in this. <laughs> oh dear. But as long as you hold the direction, you were still holding the stick in when the camera changes, you'll still go in that direction, as long as you don't tilt the stick in a different direction. Aww. Oof. He interrupted my thought. Oh well. He does a like throat cut motion with his hand and he says, Scum. Again, look, why can't that why doesn't that stab the enemy and then and then when you rev the engine then it goes ablaze? One thing that Nero has similar to Virgil, his fighting style is rather ferocious and he has a lot of quotes similar to him. Like Wasn't one of his taunts, he claps and goes, Okay, this may be fun. Ah, so the taunt is on the left side of the, the PS4 touchpad, touchpad. okay. Yeah. What's the right side of the pause button? Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did that accidentally at the start of the game. Because it was trying to talk. Nope, no attack for you. So is it... So is it... So when you're ranking, do you lose it the moment you get hit? It goes down significantly, but you don't lose it all. Right. Oh, he's pulling a Kano there. Scum! What dead puppet in a tick! <laughs> and then he gets knocked out. Oh, smoking! <laughs> Double S, smoking, smoking style. style. Will we have enough for the highest rank? Let's see. You can stop taunting now, Nero. There's an enemy <laughs> right in front of I'm you. I'm doing that to show off the higher style taunts, because you need higher rank, style ranks for specific taunts, actually. Yes. Smoking sick style. There it is. No, do the air guitar. The air guitar is my favorite. Trying to get him to do the air guitar, but he won't do it. Ah. Wait, do you not have it yet? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> now, wasn't there a, a color palette in for Virgil and MK and and MV? When did and, Virgil and, get put into more combat? In <laughs> MVC3, there was a color palette for the new, for Virgil where you can where the colors resemble Nero. Yeah, actually, that's another thing this game does. It gives you alternate colorations for the regular outfits. And we saw at the start of the game, but Nero also gets a different outfit, the prototype outfit. But I'm just using the faults for this playthrough. Oh, is this with the, with these exclusive to the special edition or yeah, with the original? Special edition. Okay. Nero gets a red. No, it's Nero. Virgil gets a red alternate version of his normal outfit, where it's essentially just instead of blue, he's red. Right, okay. And a lot of people like to call him Vante. 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 So what's this? Is this a... The combat adjudicator. You need to get to a specific... Uh, a high enough style rank in order to break it to get the blue arm fragment inside. Right, okay. There, There's one for Nero and there's another for... Another playable character much later on. Divinity statue. This is your shop. Yeah. Works exactly the same way it did in Dumb Cry 1. Okay. For those who didn't watch that, look at that! It's got a human body and a lion face. Yeah. What? Yeah. If you didn't watch the DMC one play for it, well, first of all, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the divinity statues, as they're called, allow you to buy items. These are essentially like if you're having trouble. The holy water is a screen nook. It works exactly the same way it did in Double Crime One. Is it the same as the one? But what was it the the firebomb in Castlevania? 
yeah, actually. No, wait, like the, it's kind of like the Magic Mirror and Symphony of the Night. How about that, considering that this is this story is a lot more a lot of religion based. Devil May Cry Cross Castlevania. Speaking of Castlevania, Symphony of the Night's finally heading to the PS4. Cannot wait. Twenty sixth of October, folks. Mark it in the calendar. What about what about its prequel, Rondo of Blood? That's also included. Castlevania Requiem. It's a collection on the PS4. Oh, dude, it's like gonna be amazing. I've been waiting for years to have a, a an affordable Symphony of the Night. Yes. This is a hell. No gate. shit. This is a there hell gate. A hell gate. So is You'll this, find out why it's here later. Is this a, is this supposed to be like a bridge between the demon world and the human world? I thought, yeah, I thought Sparta exactly. stopped all that. But there are the, the, there are other ways to open portals into the demon world, though. And who's this guy? This is Burial, your first boss in the game. Fire based. And what many consider to be the wall when they first played the game, because this guy's no fucking joke. He will wreck you like nothing else if you don't know what you're doing. Is he a centaur? Yeah, actually. Because huh. he, he has four legs and walks on all fours like a centaur. Alright, let's get this party started. Or um, how about I just walk by you instead? <laughs> well, you're not gonna bother? Yeah, nah, I think I'll let him go. Psych! Oh, I shoot some stone in the air. <laughs> no, I put out the fires with the like, wind of the slash. Ah. Fire's bad for the complexion. I love the interactions between the characters and the bosses, which is something that Dante's game fails miserably at. What do you personally think of the like? You would think for the, you know, the established Dante in the first game, you think they continue on with him, but no, it's like no, the main Hero. star is someone else other than Dante. Oh, I love. I'm a sucker for clashes like this. But and Nero gonna... will be returning in Don't We Cry Five, actually. That's up. You're not answering my question. Oh, what? Like, considering how the series is, like how you started with D Dante, yeah, you would Dante. think you'd carry on with Dante, but then all of a sudden, not we've got a brand new character here. How do you feel about that? I didn't actually play this when it first released. It. Like, I didn't know what was happening in the series at this point, so like, I didn't get to play this until years later. But then I played it, and I'm like, oh, who's this new guy? And then as soon as I heard Johnny on Bosch, I was just like, yeah, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> just by the voice alone. Right, what's Shall we dance? Right, so what's the strategy of... What's Burial walks around and he will take pot shots at you. And in order to use the Devil Buster on him, you must weaken him significantly. Ah, when the, fire, when the fire's out, he's weak. Oh yeah. Oh. Like, that's amazing. Motherfucker, just suplexed a uh, centaur? <laughs> no, suplex is what Leon does. Now, once you, if you manage to hit him twice with the devil bringer, run away because that will hit the um, large area. When you're trying to hit him from the back there, he can also like try and stomp you with his attacks as well. He'll deflect your blade and then try and stomp you. Well, Quam style? Yeah. Arr! Just with his foot. <laughs> and he can block your attacks. Once he blocks his attacks, he's highly likely to fall up with a counter attack, so just get away. Just side dodge to avoid Did he that. just do a ballerina spin in the air there? Yeah. He's, full he's done that again. <laughs> I'll show you who the better dancer is. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's doing it three better. times. He's he's going for a promotion. Oh yeah, time for the devil bringer. Bring it out and oh. bam. And looky here, one more time. Oh, it's amazing. Like the combat's awesome. So Nero, Nero doesn't know what he really is, essentially. So he doesn't realize that he's just like Dante, he's half human, half demon? Yeah. Well, I'll explain why later, when it's like at the right moment, because it is kind of a mini-spoiler for now. Oh, he's disappeared. Don't tell me I have to fight this guy again. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll, like, we'll be playing as a different character much later. And we'll fight him again as him. Just for the sake of surprise, I won't say who it is. You do realise that's going to bite you in the ass because nobody will care in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone watching the channel has played this, so maybe, maybe, maybe there's people who are like watching Dumb and Cry one playthrough and have been like, "Oh, Dumb and Cry four, let's see what this is about." Star Killer, eat your heart out in terms of speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that were the original Dumb and Cry four, I'd spend like at least five seconds running towards it. 
Here we are, mission clear. Stylish points, orbs found. Are you, you going to finish this with an S rank? Yes, yes you I are. Am. And as I finish with an awesome and stylish S rank, we'll see you guys in the next part.